Okay, so I am here and I'm gonna climb up to Care Kitten Hill. Maybe I'll mirror. So just now I'm about to do a bit of a hill walk. Uh, I should be about a good thousand, uh, 1,400 feet in total. Uh, testing out my uh, Mia, no, Mio Slice um, heart rate activity monitor um, to see how it goes. Um, should be about a half hour walk uphill. So this measures my heart rate and it knows my sleeping pattern and my resting heart rate so it knows how much fitness points I'm meant to be getting from this. So let's see what a simple walk up uh, Pentland Hill just outside Edinburgh after work on a lovely day, blue sky, however I did look there's going to be rain clouds so I've got my rain jacket. See how this looks. Currently it says same with that my heart rate just now is 62 beats a minute and that's after walking up that little hill so let's get that up and we'll look at the the graph at the end eight minutes in, barely eight minutes in and i'm already fed up of the flies chasing me and flying into my ear why can't they go somewhere else like fly around my bus or something oh there's one on my finger now um say my heart rate's around about 155 and uh, so we're quite a hill to go, as you can see way up there. 12 minutes. First kind of view, uh, 12 minutes in, heart rate 164. But that's the rain I'm avoiding. There, if you can see, is a rainbow. Nice, and there's the view I'm getting here so far. But still, like, straight up the way to there. But yeah, nice view. 12 minutes in. So for me, from the bottom car park to the top of the ski centre, the dry ski slope, it is a 16, 16 minute walk. Oh, now we're into the wind. No more flies. That's good. I've got to go up something which is very steep. I don't think you're quite able to appreciate how steep it's. Sponson Bog Hall. But yeah. Straight up the way. So, catch my breath for a minute, and then go up. Let's see what the uh, what the heart rate monitor looks like while I do this. I'll wait for until 17, until 18 minutes. Additionally, I'm doing this while in a fasted state. Uh, last time I ate was yesterday, about seven o'clock. Just now, it's uh, just turned six o'clock. So, 23 hours without food. The plan is to do this but still not um, eat. I'm not gonna eat until tomorrow. So this is a 36, uh, 36 hour, 40 hour fast that I'm gonna be doing. So this is kind of bang on in the middle, kind of in the middle, 24 hours in. So yeah, okay, let's go. You've got to be impressed by that angle. Look at the angle that's that when <laughs> each step uh, is a full kind of like, yeah, I'm going to, uh, ouch. This is pretty tough. Whew. And then it gets to almost oh, rock climbing gradient. Wow, that's good, look at that. It's a proper 45 degrees, 50 degrees, nice. Ah, cool, got to the top. That's taken me 27 and a half minutes to get to the cairn here. At Karen Ketten and uh, 27 and a half, 27 minutes 30 seconds have uh, made on my pie information. I've made 21 pie. Uh, heart rate is now 177. Ah, oh, that's good. I'm not gonna turn it off because I'll see how it goes as I go on the downhill. But look at that view. I think I'll have to go into 4K for this. So that's the next hill, that's Aller Muir. I might go to that. And then that's the view all the way around. Brilliant. 27 minutes it takes to get from down there up to here. There's Arthur's seat over there. That's the first of fourth. And it goes out to the North Sea. And that's the rain <laughs> over there. So I've come just at the right time to avoid the rain. Either that or it's coming towards me. Okay. Leaving the top of the of Cairn Ketten, 
um, at exactly 30 minutes and we're going to head up there to see the view over to the rest of the Pentlands. So let's do that. I might, I'm going to do something which my wife will not be happy about if she sees me doing this, but it's a thing called jogging. Now I'm somebody who's got a, a, a bad back, sciatica, and every time I jog I always end up having a very, a lot of sciatic pain, sciatica pain, but uh, Oh, it's so hard not to jog when it looks as awesome as this. Look at that. All by myself. Lovely. 35 minutes. And it takes me to... Ah. Now it meant to be over there. Okay, so I'm at this one. This is Cairn Kitten. Ah, let's go 4K again. Nah, come on. Look at that view. It's awesome. Five minutes, 20 pi, 170 meters a minute. Woo! So yeah, 35 minutes to get me from all the way down there up to here. Now, now the tricky bit, the downhill bit. This is what really starts to hurt. All that view is great, but look at this. That is far more interesting than the view. Very cool. Hello. Huh. Ah, that's been that's been a good bit of downhill there. That's been up to 52 minutes, 33 pi. Hills all behind me. Had a little bit of rain on me. Uh, oh, but the downhill that gets my IT band uphill. Feel great. It's just heart and lungs and muscles that are having a workout in the downhill. Oh, IT band. Maybe a little bit of hamstring tendon, uh, hamstring tendonitis maybe. Uh, oh, I can feel that right around the outside of my left knee. So yeah, downhill for me is the difficult bit. Uphill, I enjoy. It's effort, it's heart rate inducing. Downhill, it's just sore. <laughs> Injury enhancing and, uh, and tough on the feet as well. Uh, what I suspect is that my heart rate is a lot lower obviously on the downhill but oh i feel it in my thighs i reckon there'd be a lot of afterburn calories being burnt from the the downhill part but yeah lovely and uh, now just side by side with the uh, what do you call it the midlothian outdoor dry ski slope ski center where i think one day they're gonna be building a half pipe in there i think or maybe just more uh, air tubing or uh, zorbing going on there in the near future still annoying flies at the bottom so yeah one hour two minutes it's saying um or one hour three minutes by the time i finish this to do that i think i could definitely shave off three minutes of that in a future future challenge we'll call that my first try my warm-up for the next time but yeah that's the exercise i did today in one hour three minutes